Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I want to talk about the obvious thing that is going on at FIFA Ultimate Team right now, and that is the Team of the Year, market crash, panic selling, all that fun stuff that we are seeing headed into the great promotion of Team of the Year. Now again, today is Sunday when you're watching this video, and that means we are one day away from Team of the Year, boys. We are one freaking day away. It is so close. You can almost taste it. And today, of course, uh, on Saturday, we got a new loading screen, which was there was a lot of controversy around this and a lot of people talking about this. It's going to be hard to see on this screen, uh, but I'm going to point it out to you when we see this loading screen above the card, above the three different cards here, above them in the icon cards that are like above the jerseys, you can see a little bit of silhouettes. And a lot of people have been trying to match those up with what they could think are dynamic images for cards that are going to be in this team of the year. So some people have thought by looking at those images that it's going to be Mane, it's going to be, I've heard people say Fabinho, I've heard people say Messi, Van Dyke, I've heard Conte, uh, and it, like it's hard to really tell what those are for. Some people thought they were going to be new icons right away, but I think the consensus now is that those are some of the dynamic images that we will see for some of the team of the season cards, or team of the year cards, excuse me. If I say team of the season instead of team of the year at any point in this video, just put it in your mind and instead of me saying team of the season, I really mean team of the year, okay? I did it yes in yesterday's video a couple times, I think. I mean team of the year. Every time I say team of the, it's team of the year, okay? Little tip just for you guys there. But again, we are in the middle of a ton of panic selling on the market. Icons, special cards, informs, scream cards, road to the finals, and regular golds. Literally, everything is just being panic sold, being dumped in price. These cards are down like... De Young and Griezmann, I'm watching those right now, I guess a little bit because of the post. Um, they played a game today. Neither of them had really that, an insane performance, not really good performance. And these guys are down a bunch. Like Griezmann was 500K for a bit. He's like 520 right now. So rebound a little bit after the panic selling. De Young was like 150 or below than that. Um, but, you know, obviously Team of the Group's agent Bappe is way down. A lot of people want to buy this card. And the biggest questions that you guys have right now, and I totally know where you're coming from is, when is the actual best time to buy? When am I going to want to buy some of these players? You know what? I'm honestly looking at some of the cards in this game, like a Scream Firmino and a like a Road to the Final Eder Militao, right? And I'm honestly looking at some of these cards myself and I'm thinking, I kind of want to get some of these cards in my team. Uh, you know, like this Firmino would be a perfect card to put in my team. He's definitely going to rise after this promo. There's going to be so many Liverpool players in team of the year, especially if Mane gets in, if Wijnaldum or Fabinho gets in, if Robertson and Trent both get in, and VVD is obviously going to get in. So there's links to this card. I think this card is one of the most popular cards that people are looking at as a quote unquote link investment to team of the year. But then, of course, you have people that are, you know, saying, well, this card could drop with the other team of your midfielders that could, that could come out. Like if Wijnaldum would come out, how would this card fare? How would this card like drop more? Would it happen? I think possibly. Yes, it would. Because that's the one thing I want to talk with you guys about today. If you're having some real insecurities about when do I buy, what's the best price to buy and stuff like that, if it's on a top tier card, uh, and this is what I've been saying kind of the whole time. If it's on a top tier card, like a Road to the Final Militao, like anything that is top tier meta used by a ton of people in this game, this Firmino would be a great example as well. You might be best off waiting until the team of the year actually is announced and you see who is in, and then you make your decisions from there, of course, because you know, all right, there's a bunch of Liverpool players in this team of the year. Maybe Firmino is going to go up. The midfielders, you know, maybe if it's Conte, De Jong, and De Bruyne, then this card would stay around the same price and not be panic sold as much. But if Wijnaldum or Fabinho get in, maybe it gets panic sold a little bit. Uh, and stuff like that, you know, because uh, on some of those things, it might be the best to wait on. But a lot of these, a lot of people are coming to me, yo, when do I buy Inform this, Inform that? Well, like, let's say you want Inform Delhi, Ali for your team, right? Let's say you want this card for your team. I don't think this card's really going to get that much lower than what it is right now. Try to get him on an open bid. Try to get him on an undercut or a snipe or something like that. But this card being 50,000 coins, like 46,000 coins, is he really going to get panic sold when a team of the year card comes out? Not really. The people that are going to be panic selling during team of the year are going to be people that have really high level uh, cards. That's actually not too bad of a deal, to be honest with you. I'm going to pick that up because I think I can sell that at like 48K and make a couple thousand coins. These are the small little flips that you can do in this market. Great opportunity to talk about this, I guess. 
there, these are the small little flips that you can do in this market. I just flipped a little bit ago. I flipped a inform KDB from uh, 230K. I flipped him up to uh, 250. So not much profit, but just a little bit. Those are the, like, that is kind of the only way that you can trade right now in this market in the panic sell is pick up on a panic sell that is undercutting other panic sells enough to make profit on. And then you can sell that card. And it works best selling at night. Right now where I'm recording, it's like uh, 3 or 4 a.m. UK time, I think. So a lot of the a lot of the market is asleep. The lot, number of live transfers is down really low, 2.3 million, which is really low for PS4. So you do have that kind of stuff to think about as well. But again, panic selling stuff on the market, upper tier cards, Mbappe's, Team the Group Stage, Militao, I would consider an upper, upper tier meta card, Icons, stuff like that. Is the panic selling done? Obviously, we've seen it. Obviously, we've seen the market index go down on icons. Look at this, man. From the week after Black Friday, when the market index on icons was 95 points, we are down at 58 points on the icon index, which is insane. Uh, like just looking at some of these prices, this card here, 300K, the man at Black Friday was 532. Incredible, just incredible drops in price. You can tell earlier today he was 350K. He's now 300 flat. So just stuff like this is happening all across the market. Icons and stuff that is like above 500K is the stuff that I'm really scared about. Losing more coin value today. The upper tier meta stuff is the stuff that I see losing a little bit more coin value today. And then the lower tier stuff, like I talked about the Deli Alley would be stuff that I don't really feel like is going to lose too much more value just because it's low. And it's a totally different demographic of people that are playing this game, right? Let's say somebody has 300, 400,000 coins and they're playing FIFA and they have some packs saved up for team of the year because they know it's coming. They want to take their chance at packing a big time card, right? They open their packs. You know, maybe they make 150K back from the packs. They don't pack a team of the year card. They still have 550, 600,000 coins. What do they do next? Well, they probably go and they buy a team because they haven't had a team because they've sold it and they've lost coins heading into this promo. So that's where they're at with their team. And then they go back and they buy a team and stuff goes up, right? There's a, there's a totally different audience here inside of team of the year that is often, I think, not looked over and forgotten about, but it's just something to be mentioning of is that there's a lot of people in this game that just don't have the coins to buy team of the years, to even think about buying a team of the year. So maybe they'll save some packs. Maybe they'll open some FIFA points, but they're probably not going to pack a team of the year card and they're going to be stuck on their smaller to mid budget like they were before. And what's going to happen to guys like that? Wow, this Firmino went unbought at seven, six seventy five on bid. Crazy. I actually thought about bidding on that. But now that I see all these at 690, I don't want to bid on it. Yeah, there's a bunch back here at the end at 690K. So I'm not going to touch those, but... That's a price. That's a card that I'm looking for for my team, like I mentioned. But again, I feel like there's just a lot of these levels of, you know, people are worried about when do I buy Messi? When do I buy Neymar? When do I buy, buy Mbappe? But there's so many people that can't buy these cards and can't afford these cards in this game uh, that I do think the lower tier market, it's kind of like our Thursday flipping stuff that we talk about. The lower tier market is going to rise out of this promo earlier rather than later, uh, in my opinion on that. But the upper tier stuff, like some of these gold cards, I've been advising some of you guys to buy sooner rather than later just because of all the panic right there comes a point where the panic selling stops and it turns around and people are okay buying these cards and i think that panic is going to start to turn around today on friday because again so many people are used to on this game now buying their teams on sundays and selling on you know thursdays or whatever uh because they just know that that's like there's a lot more of the casual user base knows about thursday flipping knows about the market rising after rewards and the most expensive days on the market being friday and saturday like the casual user base that watches twist streams that watches people talk about the market knows about that and they understand that now so they buy a lot of stuff on sundays and they're gonna think i think there's a lot of people that, that could be buying stuff today on the market on sunday you know, maybe guys that want to buy their Mbappes, maybe guys that are figuring to build their teams. They don't think they're going to get a team of the year. Maybe they have saved up packs, but they don't have enough coins to go and buy a team of the year card. Those types of people, again, I think are going to be starting to put together, buy some of the pieces for their team on Sunday today because stuff is just continuing to drop. Stuff is lower and lower and lower every day. 
but I think that starts to turn around today. Now, tomorrow when Team of the Year comes out as well, I do think you will start to see an uptick on some of the other special cards and other informs. If they start with attackers and packs on Monday, I especially see this because people can't control themselves when they see a Team of the Year Mbappe, a Team of the Year Messi, and whoever it's going to be, Ronaldo or Mane or Neymar, whoever, as the third attacker in packs, if they do attackers first, which I think they should do, then you're going to have people that won't be able to contain themselves and they will start opening packs. So uh, then after that, again, people will have their coins from opening packs and they go out and they buy cards and they build teams. So that's where I see a little bit of the market rise coming into play, uh, possibly earlier in the week on Monday on some of the lower level and out of pack special cards and stuff like that. Um, but if you're somebody who's on a big coin amount, like I would say that I'm on a pretty big coin amount, it's nothing crazy. There's guys out there that have 30, 40, 50 million coins. But if you're somebody who has over a couple mil, and basically if you can afford a team of the year and you either want to build a team, again, it kind of depends on what your motives are during this promo as well. Do you want to build a team? Is that your main goal of team of the year? Do you want to try to buy a team of the year card to try out? Do you want to do SBCs that come out during team of the year? Because there's always good SBCs. Do you want to do upgrade SBCs to try to pack an untradeable team of the year? That's my option. That's what I'm going to be doing a lot of. Like, what is your motivation and what is your drive? What do you want to be doing during this next week of content? That's something that you might have to figure out as well. It kind of decided your mind when you're thinking about, am I going to buy this team? Am I going to buy this player? Think about your coins and coin management and club management at first, always plan and think of what you're going to be doing before you actually go out and act on something, have a plan, right? Like my plan is to spend 1.5 to 2 million coins in upgrade packs, maybe buy one or two cards to put into my squad because it's low and I could sell them for a rebound in a week or so or, or two weeks or whatever. And then also um, have some coins liquid to trade with and to mess around with as well. That's what I'm looking forward to during team of the week or team of the year. Uh, this coming week. So again, kind of set your goals and kind of think about what you're going to be doing and what you want to do, of course, um, during this promo. With that being said, there's going to be a lot of SBCs that come out, which is why people, you know, a lot of people on the higher budgets, which is what I was originally talking about going into this, a lot of the people on the higher budgets, I would recommend that you stay liquid heading into this. I would recommend that you would stay liquid heading into this promo so that um, you would be able to see and be able to be flexible and do stuff on the market as situations arise and occur. Maybe panic selling happens because some SBC comes out and stuff like that. I would maybe stay liquid if you're in a high coin budget just because of those things. Uh, but again, a lot of people have I've seen are investing in these high rated golds and I'm just not a fan. I'm just not a fan because I talked about it today on my stream that I like to buy these high rated golds when they hit a certain price, which is low, right? I like to buy 86 rated at 13 to 14 K. 87s at 20k, 88s at 24, 25k, 89s around 32 to 33k. And they're inflated right now because people are starting to invest in these because they have heard and they've seen even just the loading screen for team of the year that shows us that we're getting player moments and flashback SBCs throughout this promo. And this is just telling people that, oh, these SBCs are coming. I need to invest in high rated players to get ready. There's going to be a ton of packs open, and I think there's going to be another opportunity to buy high-rated fodder. So if you're doing that right now, I honestly might take the money. I honestly might take the money because, again, Team of the Year is a pack-based promotion. It is not Footmas, which is a SBC-based promotion. So, again, there's going to be tons of packs and tons of supply on the high-rated gold. So if you have a lot of those, I might consider taking the coins. That's just my opinion uh, and stuff like that. But, again... If you're wondering still what stuff is going to go down more, high rated, you know, maybe this group stage of Bape continues to go down. Icons, especially last year when the team of the year cards were dropped, people that still had icons in their team. Now, there wasn't as much panic selling last year leading up to the promo as there was this year, but I still think there are some icons, especially primes that have some room to drop yet because they're not that uh, supplied yet on the game. And I think these lightning rounds are going to help them get supplied. Um, but I think a lot of people will say, okay, I've got mid Vieira. He's like 1.7 million coins at the moment. Team of the year Conte comes out. I want to sell my Vieira to go play with the Conte and they go sell their Vieira and they undercut and they undercut and his price drops and they go play with that Conte. And eventually the Vieira, Vieira's price rises because again, people open packs, people get coins from opening packs. The market rises and more people from opening packs are able to afford a Vieira card like this. So that kind of rises the price back up because it's a meta usable weekend league player. So 
I do feel like the icons still have a, a decent amount of a little bit, to, you know, it's different for every icon, but especially some of these primes that are just ridiculously priced. Uh, I do feel like they have some opportunity to drop, right? This hullet right now is 11 and a half million for a prime hullet that uh, was price ranged at like 17 mil today, supposedly. And they moved it back down to 15 with the prime R9 as well being crazily uh, high price on the market. Supposedly at 28 mil today. I never saw one on the market, but supposedly the price range was moved to 28.8 mil, which is crazy. But uh, these cards are going to get packed. I do think their prices are going to drop, but people are willing to pay this much for some of these icons. And this is the last thought I want to leave you guys with in this video. Again, as we just continue talking about the panic selling for team of the year and stuff, people are willing to pay this much money for a prime R9. This card last year around this time, I think was like 6 million coins. I was on Xbox last year. This guy was like 6 million coins last year around team of the year, I think. This year, the way they've done icons differently, this guy is selling, I think he sells at like 11 mil, which is insane for a prime icon card. What they have done this year with the market is they've made it okay for people to have this many coins in the game, the super mega wealthy people in this game. They've made it okay to them to dish out because they want to play with these cards and they've made it okay. Those people that have those coins now feel okay paying 14 mil for a 96 Ronaldo card. What are people of that coin amount and value going to be willing to pay for a team of the year Messi, a team of the year Mbappe, or a team of the year Cristiano Ronaldo if he comes out? Even guys like Ramos, if he gets in, if... Um, VVD gets in, which he should, or Allison, or whoever, and all these team of the year cards... If the pack weight is like stupid, stupid low on team of the year cards and people with big bank accounts on this game are willing to spend this type of money on team of the year cards. I know people talked about team of the years being really cheap, but possibly these team of the years could be extremely, extremely expensive, which would be good for the rest of the market. And you would see more of a rebound on those cards, but it would also suck for people that want to buy team of the year cards and use them. But it would make sense based on how the icons are this year. So that's kind of my thinking. Maybe team of the year this year is going to be crazy, crazy expensive again based on how much the icons are and how willing people are to pay for the for these prime icons. Like Ronaldinho, I think, is like 7 million coins for the prime Dino. Last year, I kind of forget what he was last year, but I feel like he was four or like three something last year. Definitely not this much. Dino's prime moments card last year was like six or seven mil. So it's just crazy how the, uh, you know, this market this year is not as inflated as last year, but people still have the coins and people are still willing to shell out that type of money for the prime icons um, in this game, which is crazy. So that's just a little bit of food for thought here at the end. And if that's how team of the year actually ends up being stupid, stupid, overpriced, high team of the year cards comparable to those icon prices, then you will see the rest of the market. Uh, like this team of the group's agent, Bappe, if Mbappe's card comes out and it's 6 million coins, um, and you know, it's that expensive instead of being like maybe four and a half or 4 million coins, which is where we would maybe expect it. You're going to see this Mbappe card absolutely balloon because nobody's going to, not as many people, I, I wouldn't say nobody, not as many people are going to be willing or want to pay the price for that prime, uh, new team of the year card. That they would pay for this card right here with you know still very very good stats a great dynamic image and you know a special card on fifa so that's just something that i want to leave you guys with at the end of the video and talk about that but again today on sunday you probably see another mix of panic selling and maybe a little bit of people buying back some cards Price is probably staying kind of around the same place where they were today on Saturday, just kind of low mingling there. Once we really get team of the year on Monday, that's when you'll start to see things moving and spinning on the market with cards going up in price, cards again being panic sold because of like icons with the team of the years. And we'll really start to get a grasp on this market and on this promo on Monday when team of the year starts and we get more information. So one more day, boys, okay? One more freaking day until we have Monday on FIFA 20 Ultimate Team, team of the freaking year. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.